what is up guys and welcome back to the channel so today I got a little project I'm working on um, on Old Faithful the Wolf Behind X Mark Turf Tracer might be able to see in the picture there in the video I already did one for a trial run just to make sure I could be successful so anyways I'm gonna show you my process on the next one today we're replacing the tires on the old turf tracer so that's this the second one I haven't done this one yet so I'm going to take you guys along for this process you can see here's the other one and I've had slime in this and boy that shit's nasty that stuff is real nasty and I'll show you when I dismount this one but on the other one the paint was actually starting to eat off the inside of the wheel so that goes hand in hand with what a lot of people say about using slime and eventually I'm going to be using a different product uh, but I'm not putting it in the tires today so real quick too um, I'll show you the tire in a second. I bought these tires from GallagherTire.com. Uh, these tires, um, it was the best price that I found for the two of them. Uh, they are not a, the standard um, Carlisles that came on this mower. Uh, originally, it had the Carlisle turf masters but being that i use this mower now for um not brush but you know heavy uh grass and and stuff like that i wanted something a little more aggressive for better traction the one problem is though um the tires are the same height but they are a little bit narrower which for me i'm not too worried about it uh, I think they will still do the job. So real quick, this is what we have here. This is the Kenda Terra Trek, and that's what the tread looks like. Let's go over here to the turf tracer real quick, and I'll show you the tire on there what it looks like all mounted up um, I do have it very close to the max pressure I will probably take some of the air out of them uh, I don't remember exactly what the tire pressure is supposed to be uh, I'm guessing if I remember correctly probably around 13 psi so anyways without further ado uh, let's get into this process so the first step is I have this valve core tool. I'm going to remove the valve core and let all the air out of the tire. So then the next step I'm going to take and put the tire on this part of this machine. This is the bead breaker part. I'm going to break these beads. Okay. So now something that I found with these is you have to mount and dismount them from the back. So we're going to put this on there like so. We're going to put this part on, screw this down, tighten it up. 
Okay, now we can take the old tire off. Real quick, um, I haven't had too many problems with it leaking, uh, especially with having the slime, but one reason I'm changing these is because, you know, the tread is getting low. There is still tread, but this is a 2010, and these are the original tires. If you can see, look at all this drive rot. So, it's time to change them. Okay, so we got that one off. I want to show you something here. Let's take a look at this. Man, you can see the wheel. The wheel. That's pretty nasty shit. Look at that. That's worse than the other one. I mean, look at all that stuff. I don't know if you can see it. That's horrible. I'm going to go ahead and get this wheel cleaned off. I'm just going to wash it down with the hose. And then I'll be back. We're going to put the new one on. So I'm back. Let's get, get this back on. So what I do, um, let me grab the tire. They're not directional, so it doesn't matter which way they go. But what I do is I just take some Dawn dish soap, put it on the bead here. Smear it around. Just helps you mount the tire easier. Y'all can see. And then this bead is easy to put on. Easier. This one you should just be able to force it all right on. Twist it and there we go. Okay, some more Dawn. Okay, and what I had to do on the other one is when I got it started, I have a pair of vice grips. So I will put these on the bead of the wheel, tighten it up a little bit. Show you guys real quick. So just put those on there. What that's going to do is it's going to help keep the uh, tire from walking off when you're going around getting the rest of it on. So now we'll take this. We'll get this started. It's difficult because you have to get it into that drop center I believe it's actually called which is can be a little difficult but you just gotta take small bites and work around it just like that small bites
Okay, well, I'll show you what happened. That valve core, valve stem, just blew the middle of it out. So unfortunately, I can't finish this one right now, and I don't have any extras. So, I'll have to go pick some up and replace that. Alright guys, well, we'll get back on this one in a little while. Alright guys, I am back. Ran a tractor supply and I got some new valve stems. So, we're going to get that valve stem put in this tire. See what we can do. Might be getting ready to rain, so hopefully not. Yep, gonna have to re-break the bead. Open up the new ones. You take the cap off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to feed, put that in the, through the hole there. Now this is going to be tricky because I got to be able to hold that and then you're going to screw this on Sorry if you guys can't see I'm trying to show you Okay now, you should be able to take that and pull it, pull it through. guys what is up it's actually the next day here um, as you saw earlier in the video uh, mounting these tires well the one tire I had a little issue where the brass actually blew out of the valve stem and I ran out to town to grab up a new valve stem and you probably also saw where the valve stem failed as in technically i had got the wrong valve stem so today i was able to pick up the correct ones and as you can see here this is what i got this is the tr413 whereas yesterday i had the 415 and the problem was is that the 415s, this part right here, not, I'm not worried about this part, but this part right here where it goes through the hole was too big. So I couldn't get the valve stem through the hole. So these are supposed to be the correct size. Um, from my understanding, the 412 is what was in this wheel. The, the rim hole is the same on these 413s as it is the 412s. So we're going to give this a shot and see um, how it goes today. So again, there's the wheel and tire. This is flat out. 
I, this is what I mentioned yesterday. I started using this instead of um, slime. I put this in the tires of the zero turn. Uh, Ten year life, apparently. Um, and as you can see, it can seal up to half inch holes in the tread. Um, the directions on the back. Uh, these tires are technically front tires, so I'm going to use the front tire, um, you know, how, how much do I use? I'm going to use the front tire, you can see right here, one mower front tires, half bottle. So I'll be putting a half bottle of this in this tire, and then a half bottle in that tire. So, without further ado, let's... Um, Let's get to replacing this valve stem um, so I can get this finished because I would really like to have it finished now. All right, so the way this works is you pull that cap off and the hose comes out. And then this is actually a valve core remover as well. So then like I said, we're gonna put half, half in this tire and then I'll end up putting the other half in the other tire. I probably won't do that on camera though. just like that that's the first half replace the cap if you have <clears throat> excuse me if you have any left over and you should be able to push that back down and close her up so now put the valve core back in Okay, that should be about max pressure, but I'll end up, like I said yesterday, letting air out of it. Oops. Yeah, so we're close to max pressure. And then... <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let some air back out now, and I'm going to run it at... Uh, about approximately 13 PSI, I think. And that's how you replace a valve stem with the correct valve stem and it actually works and then you also saw how um, what I like to use in my tires now uh, you saw yesterday as well what that slime does um, so I just I you know I don't want to use slime anymore I, th I haven't had any issues of any sort since I've put uh, flat out in those other tires I haven't noticed any punctures so that's a good thing um, but again these are the uh, Kenda Terra Track mowers uh, tires sorry um, and again they are a little bit narrower than the originals but they're the same height so I shouldn't have to do any adjustments on that deck um, you know and and lose cut quality so anyways guys uh, I want to thank you all for watching um, please hit the thumbs up button drop us a comment let us know what you think and if you haven't already please subscribe 
and we're going to catch you on the next one. Peace.